I'm going to do something a little different this morning. Rather than cooking anything, I'm going to reheat a frozen burrito that I made a couple days ago. Uh, I've been looking at uh, instructions and reading on instructions in 7-Eleven and QT and all that, and they say reheat in a microwave from two to three minutes. Well, that's a 50% spread there which is quite a spread but I'm going to do a test this morning on the burritos that I made or one of them and see what I think is the proper reheating time for it well here we have a frozen burrito and it's definitely frozen so the first thing I want to do is unwrap that paper towel that I put around it when they were made Like find where it starts. There it is. Well, it looks like it's going to tear up, so yeah, there it comes. Now what what I need to do is wet this towel. And squeeze it out as much as I can. And the purpose of it is to turn the steam to keep that tortilla from getting crunchy on the outside as it's heated. I'll just put this back over there. That ought to do it. And uh, some of them say two hour or two minutes, others say three minutes, say some say two to three minutes. So I'm going to split the difference on my microwave here. Well I checked the tag and it says it's a one thousand watt unit. Some are eleven 1 hundred, some twelves and some eights but this one's a thousand so I'll know where to start on it cook time cook two three oh and start now rather than sit here for two and a half minutes watching the turntable go round and round and round on the inside. I'm going to treat you to a few pictures that I took when I was a freelance photographer living in Colorado. I've kind of filled the space there. I think that you might enjoy some of them. I've been with Sears for about 20 years and for the past four years have been running the installed home improvement department and where I dealt with up to a hundred independent contractors and they took the word independent very seriously. You never could depend on them to do what they said and be where they were supposed to when they were supposed to be there. And also it was installing everything from toilet seats to air conditioning to uh, complete bathrooms, uh, roofing, the whole, whole schmear. And, uh, I've been there about four years, which is about three years and eight months longer than anybody else before me had ever made it. And I was up to here on it. And they called me into the office on my 50th birthday. And they said, well, we're making a change and your job will now be in Chicago as a sporting goods buyer. I said, well, there's three things in life that I refuse to ever do, and all three of them have moved to Chicago. And they said, well, that's where your job is. And I said, well, then in that case, I think I'll just pull a ripcord on the golden parachute that you have for people with 70 points in years and service and age and bid you goodbye. And I wanted to move to Colorado to change my life totally. I wanted to become a writer and a freelance photographer and fly airplanes and fly gliders and travel and all those good things in life. And the first thing I decided to do was to, since I would be traveling out in the country there and gathering 
human interest stories <clears throat> was to look the part. So shortly after I moved to Colorado, this is what I looked like. My suit and tie was hanging in the closet and hung there for I don't know how long before it has ever pulled out. Flows and flows of angel hair and ice cream castles in the air and feather canyons everywhere looked at clouds that way but now they only block the sun they rain and they snow on everyone so many things I would have done But clouds guard in my way I've looked at clouds From both sides now From up and down And still somehow It's cloud illusions I recall I really don't know clouds at all. Well, here's my burrito, and it's nice and hot. Let me get a napkin and hold of it here. Check this puppy out. The tortilla is nicely heated. It's not crunchy or anything, not dry out. Just right the temperature for eating and that's a good that's a good burrito. The only thing that I wish I'd have done was put some sriracha sauce on them when I made them. I forgot that. I could add it now, but it's over there at the kitchen. And you can taste all the individual items in here. Little potatoes, scrambled eggs, green pepper, ham, onions. So take that QT with your three dollar frozen burritos. They aren't half as good as this and they aren't half as big. So make yourself some frozen burritos, freeze them in the freezer, and from freezer to table, five minutes. It's quicker than you could drive into any drive up window and get anything. So God bless Texas. God bless America. God bless the people in it. Thanks for watching our videos.